What's up guys? Uh, in this video, we'll be creating a to-do list app. This is video number two in a series I'm doing for Android Studio for Beginners. The first video was just a creating a Magic 8-Ball app. It was pretty straightforward. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link down below and then you can just do that video. It's only about 15, 16 minutes long, so you can do that video before you do this one. So right now, just go ahead and click start new android project and we'll name this to do list and we'll use camel case here it's where you go capital letter at the beginning of each each word so just type in to do list next 5.0 would be all right for this we'll go next and then empty activity and then just keep everything the same main activity is fine okay once that's loaded up we'll go down to resources layout and then main activity main again like in the first video we'll do everything in the text portion of the XML layout file. So first thing, we will just uh, delete that. We'll change this to linear layout. And then we will type in orientation. This makes it so everything is lined up from uh, top to bottom in a vertical fashion. And then since we're gonna have a, a text edit right here, and then we'll have a button right here. So you just type in whatever item you wanna save. And then there'll be a button right here, and then there'll be a list below. We'll need another linear layout. And let's clean this up a tad bit. And then we will make the layout width match parent. And then the layout height will wrap content. And then we'll give this an orientation also. And then, but this will be horizontal since it's going from side to side. And so the first thing we'll need is the edit text. This is where you would enter the item that you would save. And let's do the same here. I like to line mine up a certain way. So for the layout width, we will go zero DP. Then for the layout height, we'll go uh, wrap content. And then since we want zero DP, we want to add a weight. I will go over this here in a second, as soon as I get the uh, button added. Late, we'll say four. We might have to adjust that here in one moment. And we'll give this an ID. We'll call this uh, item edit text. And then we can also give it a, give the user a hint. Let's type in hint. And we will say enter item. And then right below this, so it should end up right here, since we have horizontal orientation, we will enter a button. And the same thing here. So the width will go zero once again, DP. And then height will go wrap content. And then underneath this, we'll just type in weight, and it'd be layout weight. And then we will put, we put four in the last one. So if we put four in this one, it should take up half. But we don't want to take up half. We just want to take up maybe just a small portion right there. Let's give this an ID, and we'll call this add button. And then let's give it a text, text, uh, add. So let's give this a, some space. Let's go margin top and we'll go 12 DP and then we'll go margin bottom. Let's give it a little bit of space because we're going to stick a list underneath it. And we'll go 12 DP again. So underneath this linear layout, we will put a list view. And then when it lines up like this right here, if you want, you can always just hit the uh, forward slash and it'll make it a little bit cleaner looking. So on the width, we'll go match parent. And then on the height, we will go wrap content. And then let's give this an ID. We'll call items list. And let's also give it a margin on the bottom. We'll go 12 DP. So now I'll travel over to the main activity. So first, let's set some variables for the items that we created on the XML layout file. So we created a edit text. So go private, edit text. And then we'll call it item ET. And then we created a button. So we'll go private button. And then we'll just call it BTN. And then we also created a list view. So go private list view. And then we'll just call it items list. All right, now let's set the uh, references that we created and put it into these variables. So we'll go with uh, item ET equals find view by ID r dot ID dot. See, I know the item is in there because uh, we called it underscore edit text. See the resources there. This happens every now and then. You would just go up to build and then clean project. And down here, the Gradle, it's going to basically rebuild the whole project. That usually fixes it when you go build and then clean project. And then sometimes if you rebuild the project, it fixes it. So we need to create a reference to the button. So we'll go btn equals, and then same thing, find add button. And then one last thing, we'll go to the items list. It was find ID items list. And now the next thing we have to do is create a empty array that will hold all of our items that we add. 
array list and then all the items will be strings inside the list and then we'll give it a name we'll just call it items and we also need to create an array adapter and we'll cast this once again to string and we'll just call it adapter and an array adapter is basically just a tool that Android Studio uses to help fill in uh, like lists or grid views and stuff like that. So next down here in the uncreate, we need to set an unclick listener for the uh, button. So we'll go btn dot set unclick listener, and then we'll just type in this. After this uh, red light bulb thing pops up, click on it, and then make main activity implement this, and then it will create an unclick method down here at the bottom of your activity. We need to write some code that makes it so once you type in something in the uh, text edit, it'll pull whatever's in the text edit and save it to the items list or the array list up here of items. So we'll create a switch statement. So when you create a switch statement, when you do this, it basically, you just add these cases in here and you can, if you have multiple cases, you can just do it by whatever button is tapped, then it'll trigger that case. So here we'll have to find this one right here, the add button. So it would be r.id.add button, and then you hit colon. And then you always have to close it out, each of these cases with a break. And then we'll have to create a string for what we pull from the, uh, the edit text. So we'll just call it item entered equals item et.getText down here, dot to string, and then semicolon. And then we need to take the adapter and add this item entered into the adapter dot add. And then we'll uh, item entered. And then we have to clear out the text that will be left in the edit text. You basically set the uh, edit text with uh, just nothing. So go item et dot set text. And then we'll make it just an empty quotes. And then after we do this, we want to do a toast. A toast is the little item that pops up at the bottom of the screen that notifies the user once they do something. So if you just type in toast and you can click down here on this create a new toast, it'll create that line of code for you. So this is fine because we're on the main activity. So context would be this. And then we'll just add item added. That'll just let the user know that they correctly added something on here. And then I should do it for that. We'll have to come back here and do one more thing. But we will have to make another file. Just make it a Java class. And then we'll call it file helper. So here, this is what's going to help us save the data to a certain file. So we'll go down here and we'll go PSFS. If you type that in real fast, it'll finish that public static final string. And then We'll call this file name in all caps, and then we'll have an equal list info. Just make it all lowercase dot dat. And here we'll create a method to write the data, and then we'll create another method to read it. Writing will save it to this file that we just created, and the reading of the data will pull it from this file and put it on our list. So we'll go public static void. When you have something void, it doesn't return anything. It's just writing it to this uh, file up here. And we'll call it write data. So to use this method, we'll need to have the array list available and the context, with which would be the main activity because we're going to call all this stuff from the main activity. So we'll go array, array list, and then again, it'll be a string. And then we'll call it items. And we also need to pass in the context. And then here we'll need a, a file output stream. And we'll call it FOS equals the context up there dot open file output stream. And then we'll pass in our file name, file that we created up there. And then context dot mode private, close that off. And then here it'll ask us for a try catch statement. We'll surround that. That just kind of covers us if anything goes wrong and so we also need to create an object output stream and then we'll call it OOS and we'll make that equal a new object output stream and we'll pass in the file output stream we just created up just above. And then on a Mac, if you hit uh, option, if you have like a red squiggly line, if you hit option 
and then enter this thing pops up it's the same as clicking on the old uh, light bulb over there on windows it's all enter so we'll add, add a catch clause to that and then we need to write the object so oos dot write so we'll pass in write object and then we'll uh, pass in the items the items that we uh, are grabbing which is the array list and then we need to close this out so oos dot close and then underneath this we need to create a read data method public static array list and we'll go string and we'll call this read data and the only thing we need to pass into this is the context and we'll call it context we need to create the array list here and it'll be a string and we'll call it items list and we'll equal that to null and then we need a file input stream file input stream we'll call it uh, fis equals we'll grab the context dot open file input stream and then we'll grab that file that we created up there file and close this and this will ask for a try catch block so surround that and then underneath it we'll go object input stream and we'll go ois equals new object input stream and we'll pass in the file input stream and then we'll add the catch and then one last thing we need to add is the items list equals a new array list and then we got to return something here so we'll return the items list so when we call this method right here from the main it basically pulls everything from this file and and uh, just passes it right back to the uh, main activity and fills up the list so since we did all that in that file helper class over there we need to underneath the item list here we'll add items array which is the array list up here make it equal to we have to call that uh, java class that we made and put file helper dot and this would be read data and then put you can put this in colon so then we go adapter and then make that equal to a new array adapter and you need to pass in a few things so we'll pass in this which is the context and then a layout that android studio provides it's a simple list layout so we'll go android dot r dot layout dot simple list item one this adapter needs some data to get passed into it so we'll pass in this items right here so i'll just copy that and paste that right there and then underneath this we need to fill the list with our data so we'll go items list dot set the adapter and then pass in the adapter the adapter grabs all the data that will go in the list and then the list you pass in the adapter and then that's how you get all the data inside the list you can make custom adapters which we'll go over that in another video but yeah for this one since we're only passing one string and saving it that'll be uh, plenty good enough for what we need it for so we have to go back down here to the unclick and we have to write the data so when you hit the button we need it to save to the file so file helper dot write data and then we'll go to items and then we need to pass in the context so we'll go this and i believe that's all we need for that so one last thing we need to do is we need to be able to delete items from our list so basically it's kind of the same thing we do with the unclick listener for the button we have to set something for our items list so we'll add a set on item click listener and then pass in some context this so this will create the method down here for us we do need to implement the click listener up top and then this will create the method down here so basically here we'll have to go with the items dot remove and then we'll need to grab the position of the item so the position is whatever position in the list that you're uh, pressing when you click on the item it grabs it for you here so then we need to update the adapter so adapter dot notify data set changed and then we also need to supply a toast let the user know that something got deleted so with this and then we'll just type in delete okay i think we got everything on the main activity good now we have to go back over to file helper i forgot to add something here we have to add something in the catch this is just in case that when there's nothing in the actual uh, items list we'll have to create a new items list because it will throw an error if uh if you don't do this so we have to make the uh just create a new items list right when we try to read the data let's clean this up a tad bit we actually need to change this because we're never actually i forgot to call that right there so we will need to go with ois dot read object there you go and then close that off and then we'll add another catch clause at the bottom and then what's it asking now uh yeah we have to cast this to a string 
So I think we should be good to go here. Let's try to run her. And then I will be using a program called Visor. It just casts your phone. It's free. It casts your screen from your phone to a uh, computer. Okay, let's see what we got here. We'll just use this as like it's a uh, shopping list. So we'll type in eggs, add, type in milk, add, and then uh, we'll go bread. So just to make sure it holds up, all the item items are uh, persistent throughout the app. We will launch it again after we exit out the app and let's see here and there you go uh everything's working good on it so if you found this video helpful just hit the subscribe and like it this is the early video so i'm just starting out so anything any like or any kind of comments or feedback would help out a lot so i will be trying to add new videos at least almost every other day or every day for a while then i'll just go weekly thank you